Hey, this is Jason with 4W Knives. Today's project is going to be taking a rasp and turning it into a bull cutter. And I'm also at the same time going to be doing, I guess it'd be a little EDC, could be a hunting knife, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to be doing both at the same time, but I'll be showing you most of the work on the bull cutter. A bull cutter knife is pretty popular around this area in Oklahoma. Uh, it is designed for the idea of cutting bulls, if you know what that means, uh, without cutting anything or around the area that you don't want to, so no pointy tip, uh, much like a scalpel. I'm using a rasp because I had it. I like the look of it. I'm going to do stock removal because I want it to remain with the rasp look. Uh, rasp make good knives, probably not the best steel, but they do harden. Uh, I have had some issues with warping before, but they do work pretty good. Okay, so I get it all cut out, take it to the 2x72 to do the final shaping on it. Once I get the final shaping done, I'll draw my bevels on it to give me a good guideline along with a good center line for my edge. Uh, I'm doing a hollow grind on this one, so I use the 6 inch wheel, I believe is what the size of this one is, instead of the 10 inch. I want it a little bit deeper. Uh, more defined bevel uh, unfortunately I must have bumped this and got a really bad camera angle so you're not going to get the full effect of, of the hollow grind I wanted to do a little more detailed description of it uh, but as you can see this footage is pretty bad you get to see more of my bare knee through my uh, torn pants than what you get to see of the actual grinding of the bevel uh, I went ahead and left some of the footage in there and uh, just so you can kind of see a little bit of it being developed but uh, I do apologize I, I didn't realize I bumped it and I can't go back and regrind the knife so it is what it is um, but I go from here and I do three thermal cycles before I quench it I get it up to critical temps let it cool down to room temperature did that three times and then I get it to critical temp and I quench it. I had a hard time getting the flame to go out on this quench. Um, I was afraid if I pulled it up, it was really gonna explode. I tried blowing on it. I just couldn't get it to go out. It eventually did, but I hate uh, having that, that oil burn. Uh, so I get it all tempered and ready to go both knives that is and then i do all my finish grinding uh, i'm not going to show any of the handle work um, from the time i started this till the time i ended this video was a good month and a half i uh, got hung up with some basketball tournaments that we host at the school and then we went on a cruise and then we had christmas and everything so um, I had it all spread out. I got back and I jumped in the shop, started working and completely forgot that I was recording this until about the point that I needed to sharpen it. So I did all this finish grinding, got it down to a pretty uh, thin edge and then got the handle on it. Uh, the handle that I'm using uh, is called Bronze Mocha. Uh, I got it from Jance. I don't remember what the, uh, the brand type is, uh, but man, they're pretty. Uh, they have some other ones like Texas Tea and stuff, and they've been real popular here lately uh, with the ones that I've been making. To get the final edge on this uh, bull cutter, I do my normal uh, sharpening sequence. I start with the 220 grit on the 2x72. I do one side until I get a good burr, 
and then I will switch over and do the same on the opposite side. Uh, just basically chasing that burr the whole time. Once I get it finished on the 2x72, I'll go to the workshop. Uh, I like using the workshop instead of the 2x72 after this point. One, it's a little smaller, so I can have a little bit more control, and I can switch the belts a lot easier and quicker than what I can on the uh, big belt grinder. So uh, that's my process right now, and it, it gets them sharp. Uh, so I, I don't see any reason in changing. Uh, I'm always looking for ideas. Uh, I'm sure something will come up and, and I'll have to try it. But for right now, I'm sticking with this. Now, it's not very smart for me to do the buffing after I've sharpened, but uh, I had already done the buffing. And when I sharpened, a whole lot of uh, grit and grime and stuff got on the uh, handle. So really, I was just kind of going in and cleaning it up on the buffing wheel, uh, being careful. All right, I got these dudes all finished up. I uh, really like the way these purple and black acrylics turned out. Uh, I posted these on my Facebook page, and this one sold within about four minutes. Uh, I haven't posted uh, the bull cutter as of yet. I wanted to finish this video first, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know a lot of people do rasp knives. Uh, I enjoy doing them. I don't know why, I just do. I like the way they look. Uh, this handle material on both of them, I thought it turned out great. So uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a good one.